Miono sent me their newest gaming mic, the DM30. So let's get into it. So in the Miono DM30, we have a cardioid USB-C gaming mic with gain control. With this knob on the front here, you can switch from gain control to volume control for your headphones that you can plug in via aux cable. You can also mute the mic as well with the same knob. It comes with a really sturdy metal stand that you can remove and mount on a boom arm. Super thankful for that. Of course, it's not a gaming mic without the RGB LEDs on the bottom that have some customizability. The mic comes with Mayono Link. There's software that you can use to change the sound and colors of your mic. Keep in mind, you don't need the software to use the mic. It is plug and play. And total price for this comes out to 50 bucks, which you can find on sale for around 40, 30 dollars. Okay, so this is the DM30 and I'm going to be using it for the entire video. And I'll do a real in-depth mic check in a bit. I actually reviewed two very similar mics on my channel. Go ahead and check those out below if you want to compare this to something similar. While you're down there, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Engagement in the first two minutes really helps me and the channel out, so thanks. Okay, so top two things I like about this mic is the Mayono Link software and the ability to mount it to a boom arm. So with the Mayono Link like I said before, you don't have to download this program and use it at all. You can plug and play and that's plenty for most people, especially for a gaming mic. That's kind of the whole point. But if you're a bit of a power user and you want to fine tune your sound without needing an XLR mic and XLR cables and an audio interface and a cloud lifter and blah, 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 all that stuff, then this may be a really good option for you. Okay, so let's check out the Mayono Link program. And before we get started, make sure you're wearing headphones. We're going to pull up the program here, the Miono Link. You're going to come up to this screen with a picture of the DM30 mic. Hardware syncing. All right, so we got a standard mode here as well as an advanced mode. Let's check out the standard mode first, actually. Now here we can change your gain. We can change the headphone volume as well. Oh, by the way, I'm also recording this in Audacity. So all, all these changes I'm making, you're going to hear immediately. You can change the RGB colors and such and whatever color you want, the brightness, all that stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty standard. Turn it off, turn it on. The main bit here is these four tones or tone modes, I guess. Now switch to legacy mode. Legacy mode. I don't know. I feel like this is honestly like the worst mode. So I will never use that. Deep mode um, sounds pretty cool, but may actually be a little too deep for my voice. I'm in natural mode right now. And I honestly don't really notice too much difference between natural and deep. I think for my voice, bright mode may be the best. It's not too deep and overpowering. Let me know what you think in the comments below which one you think sounds best or if you noticed any difference like at all. All right, so let's switch over to advanced mode. Now here we have a bit more to play with and just a warning, this is gonna get pretty nerdy and technical. <laughs> so if you don't know like what a compressor is for a mic, then you may wanna stick to standard mode or you may wanna stick around and learn something. So we have a limiter and a compressor here that we can fine tune rather than you know simple tone names we have actual genuine eqs like a high pass filter and presence boost i guess they call it uh, now don't worry if you don't know what any of this means uh, i honestly wasn't too sure before this video okay so let's go through the sound the eqs here so flat is flat <laughs> it sounds a little bit too bassy for me to be honest high pass filter is exactly what it sounds like it allows lower frequencies to pass through and not be picked up so this is kind of the polar op opposite to flat mode for me now presence boost is actually my favorite of these eqs uh, for my voice i would kind of equate this to the bright mode in the standard mode so which i i really like it and finally we have high pass filter and presence boost which Mm, it sounds kind of meh to me. It sounds okay. I'm not a fan of high pass filters. 
like at all. Let me know what you think. I'm going to switch back to presence boost. So a limiter serves essentially as a brick wall that the audio signal cannot pass. If it hits that threshold, then it's compressed. A compressor is a little bit different in that it uses thresholds and ratios and like actual literal math, which I'm not going to do at all. So don't worry. Just know that a compressor just reduces the level between the loudest and the quietest part of the audio signal. So instead of having such a wide band from loud to quiet, squeezes it down so that difference is smaller. That's it. It's mainly used for when, you know, a singer is going to belt out a loud note or a streamer suddenly starts yelling or something. It keeps a consistent audio level. Now for gaming, this works great. I have it hooked up to my PS5 right now and it works flawlessly. So that's the software. I wanted to get into my second favorite part, the flexibility of how I get to use the mic. I've had a couple mics before in the past that were permanently on a stand and I hate that. When it's on a stand sitting on your desk, you pick up all the these unnecessary noises that you don't wanna pick up like your hands, moving across the desk, banging on the desk, typing, etc. It's horrible. Thankfully, Mayono allows you to remove the mic and lets you mount it on either a 3 8 inch or a 5 8 inch mount as so. Love that. When I'm done with my meeting, the mic is moved out of the way. Highly recommend boom arms if you can get them. So far, my only complaint is I'm missing a, a degree of rotation here. Uh, that I would have liked to have seen. Um, that's why it's like sideways like this, because this is the only way I can get it to face me at the angle I have my boom arm. Kind of a nitpick, not like a huge deal or deal breaker like at all or anything. Just honestly, I had to think of something bad to say. That's like the only thing I can think of. Other than that, like this is a super dope mic. It caters to both novice and power users. Easy to use, plug and play. And for a gaming mic that's only 50 bucks, I think this is a pretty dope deal. So that's it. Again, let me know what you guys think of this mic in the comments below. Do you like it? Does it sound like crap? Does it sound good? Let me know. I want to hear it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.